Happy Passover! I'm Rhonda Spinak, founder and artistic director of The Braid, formerly known as Jewish Women's Theater. A few weeks ago, I was speaking to a few subscribers via Zoom, sharing with them a little bit about our performance schedule over the last few months. And they said, you got to tell everyone what you've been doing. So that's what I'm going to do today. But before I do that, I want to take a moment and just thank our community members who have made Bat Mitzvah level gifts this 13th season. You have truly helped sustain us during these uncertain times. And a big shout out to our staff and leadership and talent who have pushed the limits of their creativity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Our performance schedule. We have been all over the country and it's been amazing. I don't know if you remember our show from a few seasons ago, True Colors, which explored the lives of Jews of color. We performed in Philadelphia, Boca Raton, Oklahoma. It was just in wintry Winnipeg where they cast local actors. We've reprised several other classic salon shows. We've toured the South in the fall. On Yom Kippur afternoon, we were in Manhattan. We were in Northern California for Hanukkah. We welcomed in the new year in Rochester, New York, LA for Purim. And just last week, we were invited to share some of our classic Passover stories as they wove them into a woman's Seder. It was a beautiful night and attended by 10 JCCs from Colorado to Virginia. We've been offering Sunday morning programming, uh, notable guests in conversation with our community, esteemed artists in an art talk, and those events are free and have attracted thousands of virtual attendees. We were invited to be on Chaiflix, which is the Jewish streaming service. So their app is next to the Netflix and Hulu app. We're really honored to be there. Join if you want to see some of our classic shows from years ago. And in January, we debuted Stories from the Violins of Hope, a unique telling of the internationally known collection of Holocaust violins. It was such a popular show that we brought it back in February and we're bringing it back next week in honor of Yom HaShoah, three days. Folks will have three days to view it. If you've seen it and want to see it again, join us. If you've seen it and loved it, share it with friends and family and tell them to join us. And at the same time, we will be sharing it with our Latin American brothers and sisters in partnership with Fuente Latina. We have subtitled this show in Spanish and Portuguese. And during the same time, we will offer that as an option. We have been um, mentoring seven emerging artists who are creating their own salon show. The rest is history, which if you're a subscriber, you'll be able to see as part of your subscription. We just finished curating it. It's both funny and heartwarming. I think it's going to be one of our best of the season. We can't wait for you to join us as we continue to share inspiring Jewish stories right from our homes, zooming our way into your homes across the continent, connecting us all. I've been told we've reached new friends uh, in 36 states and in 10 countries. And we've become known as the international Jewish go-to story company. Now, the big question everyone is asking, and these ladies from a couple weeks ago asked me, is when are we going to be performing live again? And that's a question we ask ourselves, and we just don't know. But when we can, we're going to open our doors and open our arms to a warm embrace in the community until then, haksameach, and may we all be reacquainted with the freedoms we just now dream of. And if you still would like to make a bat mitzvah level gift, please go on our website and do so. We would be so grateful. And uh, if you have already, thank you again. And you can make another one too. <laughs>